Reservoir air pressure enters the governor at one of its reservoir ports on the back of the governor and acts on the piston and inlet exhaust valve. As the air pressure builds up, the piston and valve move together against the resistance of the pressure setting spring. With the air dryer and unloader valves will be exhausted to atmosphere on this port. When the reservoir air pressure reaches the cutout setting of the governor, the exhaust stem seats on the inlet exhaust valve, closing the exhaust passage, and then opens the inlet passage. Reservoir air pressure then flows around the inlet valve, through the passage in the piston and out the unloader port to the compressor unloading mechanism. Air also flows around the piston which is slightly larger at the upper end. The added force resulting from this larger area assures a positive action and fully opens the inlet valve. As it drops 20 to 25 pounds from cutout pressure the spring now becomes stronger than the air pressure on the bottom of the piston it will cause the piston to be pushed back down closing the wet tank to the unloaders and opening the passage from the unloader and the purge valve to the exhaust port. CMVSS 121 requires that governor cutout be set within the range of 115C to 135C. It recommends that governor cutout be set at 125C. It is a legal requirement that governor cut in occur at no more than 25C less than governor cutout pressure. If the difference between governor cutout and cut in is less than 20C. The result is too frequent cycling of the compressor loaded and unloaded cycles the adjustment is touchy and to increase unloading pressure you turn the screw clockwise and counterclockwise to reduce pressure. When the air compressor reaches its limit the governor is there to unload it preventing air pressure from building too high. This is our uh, governor, it's mounted onto the compressor. One of the air lines goes to the air dryer and the other line goes to the wet tank. The mounting depends on where you mount the governor. The governor has three unloader ports, one exhaust port, three reservoir ports, and four mounting ports. One air line would go to one of your unloader ports to your air dryer and the other air line would go to one of your reservoir ports to your wet tank and you would leave the exhaust port open. The governor would mount either on the air dryer or the air compressor. Air governors. Um, different manufacturers have different uh, mounting areas. Like this one has an air dryer. Uh, some on firewalls, uh, on air compressors, and uh, sometimes on engine block too, like CAT. Um, this particular one has on air dryer. So it uh, only needs one cylinder line to air tank because uh, it's all mounted on the air compressor so it doesn't need any other line. So as I said there are different type, uh, there are different areas for mounting the air governor. So this is on a Mack truck. Uh, uh, this particular one has um, uh, on a cab fireball. So you can unscrew these bolts, these are broken, but you can unscrew this bolt and take this off and put a new one. So for there, uh, this one goes, uh, the fittings, so this one goes to the, uh, this is a reservoir from tank and this is a, a loader valve from a air dryer. And, uh, these fittings are blocked, so because it is not in used use. You can see there are two different type of uh, part numbers on here. Different uh, the, these are two different air corners, like this one. Uh, It's uh, cut in cutter pressure is 105 and 125 so different um, is 20 psi difference between cut in cutter pressure. Other one 
this one uh, is also uh, is there's a uh, your cut in cut out pressure it's 100 and 120 psi so you can unscrew this and uh, change the uh, uh, cut in cut out pressure it also comes with gasket and brass fittings you can use the brass fit old brass fittings from um, old uh, air corner it depends if you don't have any uh, you can unscrew this and make uh, tight uh, turn this in clockwise you can uh, increase the cut and cut on pressure and uh, anti clockwise you can uh, reduce the cut and cut out pressure so it comes with the with the gasket that that goes on air, um, on an air dryer or on air compressor if it is mounted on the air compressor or air dryer and uh, with some uh, brass fittings so you can block the ports that you are uh, that that are not in use building air slowly using dash gauges verify that the compressor builds air system pressure from 85 to 100 psi in 40 seconds or less with engine at full governed rpm return the vehicle to service air charging circuit does not build air could be governor malfunction, air compressor malfunction, restricted discharge line, exhaust port frozen open, air dryer safety valve releases air, air dryer doesn't purge, air dryer safety valve releases air, all three of these could be governor malfunction and or improper governor control line installation to the reservoir. For cut in apply soap solution around the cover and to the exhaust port. Slight bubble leakage permitted. Excessive leakage indicates a faulty inlet valve or lower piston o ring. For cut out apply soap solution around the cover and to the exhaust port. Slight bubble leakage permitted. Excessive leakage indicates a faulty exhaust valve seat, exhaust stem o ring, or o ring at the top of the piston. If the governor does not function as described or leakage is excessive, it is recommended that it be replaced with a new or remanufactured unit, or repulled with parts available at authorized dealers.